okay usually in class when you are uh, asked to do something on matrix you need to modify a text file or you need to for example do your quiz online you need to create a text file and write very short answer to questions in them uh, because this is the beginning of the semester you might not know how to work with sophisticated text editors like Vi um, because of that I'm introducing a very simple text editor that, uh, that comes with Linux it's called Nano so um, to use Nano the command line for it is this so you just write Nano and <coughs> sorry write Nano uh, on matrix so this is a, a terminal client that I'm connected to matrix with already so on matrix you type nano and you hit enter and this is the text editor that comes up you can edit here and then you can save it out mm. so if you want to create just a new file you don't know what's the name you create like this and uh, you can write it down into a file and it's done um, and uh, things you need to know about nano are very simple how to write out that's control x you, you hold control key and you hit X that writes uh, that exits the program uh, and it asks you if it's it has if it has been any kind of modification it asks you if you want to save it or not so if I press control X over here is gonna say save modified buffer uh, if I say yes then it's gonna ask for the name of the file because I never used the name I just called nano so if I type yes it's gonna say name of the file to write into I can use any name that I want for example <coughs> testing nano.txt and I hit enter and it saves and goes out now if I want to open that again I have to say nano if I want to open the file that I just created in front of the f name of the nano editor I'm gonna put the name of the file so testing uh, nano.txt and it reopens the file and I can continue editing to save the changes that you have so I'm um, just gonna write over here nano and then enter that starts nano uh, with no f uh, with a new file okay let me make this a little bigger okay and um, uh, nano uh, file name and then enter will uh, open uh, file in nano okay if you want to exit control X so control X control and then X exits and uh, saves if changes are made it if if there are any changes if there's any change if any change okay um, now while you are editing you want to be able to keep saving because you may lose the connection and you don't want to lose the work so what you need to do if you add a new line and you want this new line to be saved without exiting that's control O right here okay so if I type control O if I hold the control and press O it's gonna say file name to write and it puts by default the name that you already had you hit enter and it writes it so this is what you have to keep doing over and over when you are doing a quiz or something that is sensitive and you want to make sure that the changes are all kept as you are going so control O remember writes down writes out the uh, um, uh, saves into a file so control dash O saves the file without exit uh, I'm just mentioning important stuff reading a file if you open a file if you if you want to insert a file into uh, where you are you can go read file and it brings it in um, now what I'm gonna do I'm gonna exit nano so I'm gonna say control X because I already saved it didn't ask me there is no change so it gets out now 
Um, I'm going to remove that test testing nano. Now I'm going to go to IPC144 directory. And in there I have a file say getvals.c. Okay. So I want to open that file. I go nano getvals.c. And it opens the file. So these are the stuff that I have in this file. And um, it'll say I want to um, remove a file, uh, remove a line. To remove a file line, line you do control K. There's a catch for this. So control K. As you see, that line is removed. If you want to paste that line back in, it's control U. As you see, it's pasting it back in. Now, say I want to copy these lines right from here down to here. Let's say I want to copy all these files at the end of the line. At the, at the end of the file, move them down. If you want to do that, you keep Control K. So I have one, two, three, four. I'm going to press Control K four times. One, two, three, four. Now I move the cursor down. I'm going to go Control U. It brings them back up all over here. So if I want to bring them back up, I go up here and go Control K, 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 K. And then I'll go back up and Control U it pastes it back where I want. So if you keep doing cut text, it cut the text line by line, but if you do it back to back, you can paste them back in. But remember, whenever you do a new one, then the, all the old ones are gone. So if I say delete these two lines, two control case, K and K, and I come over here and control U, it only remembers that. Now, and that's it. So the, the, the first one that I have done will be forgotten. So if I do control U again, it brings it back up here. Again, another paste. So I'm just going to remove these two. And there we go. So if I want to write out and save the changes, I'll do control O. Write out the file. Yes, it saves it. And if I do control X, it exits the nano. And uh, that's all about nano. There is one more thing that I want to tell you about nano. So I'm going to bring that one up. Uh, Usually in programming, we do not like tabs. Tabs, uh, pressing a tab, as you see, it jumps eight characters. And when you go back, it jumps eight characters back. Because tab in different types of system have different sizes, we don't like to have tabs inserted into our programming code. We rather have spaces added. Now, if you want, you can toggle that in um, Nano. If you press escape first, so first hit escape and then hit Q, you see down there it says conversion of type tabs to spaces enabled. You have to do that every time. So if you do control Q, then the text editor does not recognize as tab anymore. As soon as you do tab, it actually presses eight, does eight spaces, not uh, uh, one tab character. And as you see, it goes back one by one. So if I press Escape Q again, it toggles back, and now it's it's disabled. Now if I press Tab, and I go back, it jumps back. It doesn't go eight eight spaces. So again, Escape Q. Now it's enabled. If I do a Tab, and I go back, now it's spaces. It is not Tab anymore. But did you see, if you notice, there is one Tab character over here. So I have to remove that and do it again. So remember, if you do not want tab to be inserted into your program then in my class I really appreciate if you do that always enable the conversion of tabs um, using escape queue so I'm gonna say over here escape dash Q toggles conversion of tabs to spaces very important thing for programming okay so I have that one too and that's it so that's how you use uh, nano to edit simple files and uh, we exit the nano and we are done thank you very much